Hello, friends. <laughs> welcome or welcome back to Shadow Play Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me here today, friends. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Make yourselves at home. There is plenty of content to catch up on. And if you are returning, well, friends, I tell you all the time, thank you so much. Thank you for coming back and spending more of your precious time with me here on the channel, friends. You guys know what's up. I love hanging out with you, and it's also my hope that you enjoy your time while you're here. Um, all right, friends, let's get right to it. Today, we are going to be doing a little incoming messages. Let's see who's going to be reaching out and why. Um, these are probably going to be fairly quick today. We want to get straight to the point. As always, though, you guys know what's up. If something is confusing or uh, triggering or just, you know, you're having a hard time making the math math, um, that just means that it's probably not your story today. And that's okay. That happens sometimes. Maybe check out another group or, you know, one of the other 500 plus readings that we have here on the channel. <laughs> All right, friends, you guys know what's up. Three groups to choose from. We have a group number one. Group number two and group number three. Whenever you're ready, I'll meet you at your reading. Hello, my group number ones. <laughs> if you picked this sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Um, I absolutely love this. I love The Bride of Frankenstein, and then you guys know I love Betty Boop. So I love this mashup. Um, if you guys are interested in these stickers today, they are always tagged down below. This is by Sweet Sukar. She is Arte de Laura on Instagram. Um, all right, my group number ones, thank you for joining me here today, babies. Let's get right to it. Today, we are going to be looking into incoming messages. Who is going to be reaching out to you um, and why? What is it that you need to know? My group number ones, please remember it's a collective reading on YouTube, so only take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. Um, if you're not into the energy that's coming through, that's fine. It just means that it's probably not your reading. Um, and that's okay. It happens sometimes. I know it's boring when we're trying to listen, <laughs> when we're trying to find something to listen to. Um, and we end up getting annoyed. All right, let's get to it. Thank you for joining me, my babies. Let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number one. All right, let's tap in, friends. Let's take a deep breath. Let's see who's going to be reaching out to you. Incoming messages. Who is going to be reaching out to my group number ones? And who is this person? How will my group number ones know who this is? Who's reaching out to them? What can we know? about who's going to be reaching out to them. Messages for my group number number ones. Who's going to be reaching out to them? Who's reaching out to my group number ones? All right. So we have a 10 of cups and eight of cups and a page of pentacles in reverse. So for some of you, um, this is someone who maybe recently, okay, for some of you, this is like a younger um, sibling or a family member, and they might be calling you because they need something. They may have left something. Uh, maybe they maybe they just left their job and they didn't really think it through. And now they're like, ah, I need help or I need something. I'm not necessarily saying that's all or why they're calling, but whoever is calling or whoever is reaching out, it's. It's almost to fill you in on something, um, but it's also for their their very their self interest here, <laughs> you know. So it makes me feel like they might need something from you. Now, for others of you, um, maybe this is someone that you guys aren't as close anymore. You could have walked away from them, or you know, no, this is someone who's coming to you um, for guidance or for reassurance, or you'll you'll know what to say. Or you have you have something that is going to help better my situation. And for some, it's just your love, your care, your advice, your guidance. Or it could be, um, no, this person wants to know what you think. Yeah, there's uh, there's a feeling here where where they want. They're almost like wondering, well, what would you do? Well, what, what if you were me, Group One? What would you do next? Because this person's almost like wanting an idea. This person cares about you. Um, I, I do think that there is feelings here, but this person has a hard time. This person has a hard time. Now, depending on who they are, you know, if they're someone that you know can't hold down a job or um, they tend to do things and don't think things through, it's like you're you're almost like the the sound of reason or you're the, you're the one that's that uh, they kind of turn to. 
Now for others of you, aside from that story, I am picking up on other kind of things coming through, but let me get another one on that 10 of cups. Why the 10 of cups, please? Who's going to be reaching out to my group number ones? Why the 10 of cups? Why the eight of cups? No, yeah, this is, I feel like this is a situation that someone's not very stable here. Uh, someone's walking away from something. Um, someone could have left a job that they weren't getting paid enough anyway, or they left a situation uh, that they weren't um, getting enough. There's like an issue maybe of codependency with family. But so for some of you, I do kind of feel like this is uh, this is someone calling because you can help them. By the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Now, some of you may be, uh, I don't know, what if it's your old job calling because you left and they can't figure out what to do without you? <laughs> there, there's something coming through. Like, I need you. Why the Page of Pentacles in reverse? And why the King of Cups? Strong Scorpio energy. Yeah, this person's looking for guidance. Again, this isn't the first time. What else, please? Who's going to be reaching out? And also, when they call, you're like, I don't know if I should pick up. I don't know if I want to answer that. Or maybe you're like, oh, I can't right now. I can't give it my attention right now. I'm out. I'm driving. I'm, I'm, I got my life, you know, and this person, you know, you already know that they're calling because something didn't work out for them. I think you guys, you know, uh, you love each other, you see each other, you know, but it just feels like, yeah, they need your guidance and you're like, okay, when I have a moment. <laughs> what else, please? What else? Who's reaching out to? Because you know better. You help calm this person. You have the good ideas. This person doesn't see themselves as capable. This person like literally thinks that you are someone who like, you know what you're doing or you have the best advice or you know how to make things happen or you, you know how to make them feel better. I'm not getting that they're calling you with heartbreak or anything crazy because anything crazy happened. No, I just kind of feel like they're calling because there's a mini crisis in their life or something isn't flowing right. Or maybe they don't know what to do. It doesn't have to be a crisis. And, and they, they want to talk to you about it. They want to see what you think because you help them get out of their head or you, you know how to like communicate with them or talk to them. This person also feels like you're not as harsh as maybe other people are, or you always kind of approach things like, like I said, it's like you make them feel better. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do my group number ones need to know about who's going to be reaching out to them? Anything else that my group number ones need to know? What do my group number ones need to know? What else do they need to know? Incoming messages. What do they need to know about this person that's reaching out? What else can we tell them about why they're reaching out? What else can we know? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones. Because there's some kind of change or there's something that this person is thinking of. This person also, like, they want to connect with you. They feel like they've, like, been through a lot or this person's a little wounded. They're having a hard time maybe feeling positive or feeling optimistic about things. We have heavy Aquarius energy, Sagittarius and Pisces coming through. Why the world? What else do my group? It's for your, it, it's for your, uh, it's because you know, this person views you as being very, like, very smart. They could even want your advice, like, on their finances or on a job or what you think. Something here about the long term. Maybe this is, Maybe this is what you guys do for work, and that's why you're being contacted. I'm, I'm not really picking that up. I'm picking up that there's an emotional connection here. It's not just like I'm booking your service and you're going to help me. I mean, maybe it is, but this would be a client that you 
may really like or consider it like family, or maybe they remind you of someone in your family. So this is someone that when they pop up, you, it's, it's, you never know why they're calling, but you know they're calling for a reason. This is going to be, I, you're going to be fine, you know, you're going to be listening to them. And I think that's something that they like is that you listen and you don't kind of interrupt or judge them or tell them, well, why'd you do that? And if you do, it's from a place where they know they don't like take, they don't get defensive, you know? Why the star card? What else do my group number ones need to know? <laughs> Yeah, because they they trust you and they feel they want to have a conversation with you. I would say they want your advice and guidance. This, yeah. This person also feels like you guys haven't talked for a long time, so they might call you under the guise of I want to catch up or what's been going on with you, but in reality they have a whole they have a whole agenda of what they're gonna talk to you about. <laughs> Uh, you know what? This person might hit you up early in the morning or late at night. Um, cause I do see that when you get their message or when they contact you, you're not readily available to answer them. All right. My group number ones, let's get some Oracle cards for you guys. Um, yeah, these are quickies. Some days they're going to be quickies. Um, I get, I never mentioned this. I did open up private readings on my site. They are all booked, but I have kept open the questions. Um, they are audio only. So by doing audio only, I can get through them and I have more freedom, freedom to keep them open um, so that more people can, can enjoy the reads. So if that's something you're interested in, um, I mean, you know, who knows where you're going to listen to this message. This is August of 2024 that I'm saying this, but for right now, the questions are open on my website. The only way to book is through the site. Um, not in the comments, not anything like that, just on the website. And the info is in the description box. Um, but yeah, since I have them back open, I have to balance out my YouTube readings with private as well. All right. Um, you guys, I am shuffling the answer cards. These are the ones that you guys can ask any question that's on your mind. We'll see if we can get you an answer. You'll know it's an answer because you'll feel it. You'll know it. You'll recognize it. If not, just take it as more messages for your reading as to who's going to be reaching out. Um, all right. Let's try to get you some answers. Let's do two today. So you guys can ask two questions if you'd like. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number ones, please. Can we get answers to their questions? Two, please. One, two. All right. We have transformation is on the horizon. And be clear with your wishes. Okay, so that might be, uh, that was for the second question. Be clear with your wishes is the second one. And then the first one was transformation is on the horizon. So for that first one, if we're taking them as messages for who is reaching out, it's because they are transforming or something is changing and they want your advice. Um, be clear with your wishes. Maybe this is something that you're going to have to be clear with them about. Like, what are you, what are you, are you looking for my advice or are you looking, you know, I don't know. There's something here. Um, all right, we'll leave those there. Let's see what else the Oracle cards want to say. We have stop, isolation, and rest. Yeah, I do feel like you haven't talked to this person in a little while. So they kind of come in out of nowhere, maybe like a little bat out of hell. We have stop and isolation. Um, again, I think you're going to get their message and hear from them, and you're not going to answer right away. You're going to answer when you have time. And you have rest and strength. Maybe that's, yeah. That's why you need to find quiet time where you're like, okay, now I can deal with this or now I can listen to whatever it is that you have going on. <laughs> All right, let's get some initials. Thank you, Spirit. We have W, W, so two W's, W, C, T, Wichita. That's not the first time this pops up in the last like month or two. We have BT, that makes me think of butter. We have but, but, <laughs> butter. We also have bun. We have G-U-N. Uh, Tennessee. Connecticut. What? I think that's what you're going to say. What? When they, when they reach out to you. BG, big. 
big, big G-U-N, big gun. What? Oh my gosh. I just got a song that popped into my head. Um, okay. Someone wants a plan. Yeah. Okay. So there's this, um, I don't know if, oh, here we go. My age again, Jenny Lewis, she released an album in like the mid two thousands, um, called rabbit for coat. Um, and I forgot who the twins that played the, played the instruments on that album are, but anyway, the Watson twins, I believe anyway. Uh, oh yeah. And W so maybe what, what Watson coming through. Um, but anyway, there's a, there's a song on there and I think it's called the big guns and there's a lyric that says that there's a plan so i don't know maybe there's something about that album for someone or that song super fucking random i haven't heard that in years but hey i just never know what's for who on the channel all right my group number ones that is what i have for you today i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope it resonated please take care of yourselves and i'll catch you at the next one thanks guys Hello, my group number twos. <laughs> if you pick the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into incoming messages and who's going to be reaching out and yeah, what is it that you need to know? My group number twos, please keep in mind it's a collective reading on YouTube. So only take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. If something happens to trigger you or um, if it sounds confusing or it's not making sense, that just probably means it's not your story. Um, and that's okay. It happens. All right, let's get to it. My group number twos, thank you for joining me here, my babies. And let's begin. Thank you, Spirit, for allowing me to channel these messages today for my group number twos. My group number twos, please, Spirit, my group number twos, who's going to be reaching out to them? Who are my group number twos going to be hearing from? Who's going to be reaching out to them? What can we know? What can you tell us? Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Who's going to be reaching out to them? What can we know? Someone could be sad that they haven't heard from you for a long time or that they think you're upset with them or I don't know. That's not for everyone, but messages for my group number twos. Messages for my group number twos. Who's going to be reaching out? All right. That was the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe you don't know if you want to answer. Who's going to be reaching out to my group number twos? Yeah, this is someone that you're not with and they're popping in. They want to check in. For some, they might want to apologize or they want to act cute. Who is this? Who's reaching out to my group? They want to make something clear to you. They want to spend time with you or they want to kind of, they've been thinking about this. This person's been thinking about it for a long time. So this is someone who's going to come towards you pretty like naively or pretty sweet. They're going to, um, yeah, this person, they're like, they've thought about this is what it feels like. Like they're taking the time or they're making the time because you guys aren't talking and you're not together. This is someone that knows that you might be upset with them or thinks that you are. Yeah. And as I say that five of cups at the bottom of the deck, tell me about. But tell me what else, please. Who is this? Who is going to be reaching out to my group number twos? Who's going to be reaching out to my group number twos? <laughs> oh, I'm so silly. I should have just taken it. <laughs> um, I'm laughing because you guys saw the five of cups was at the bottom of the deck. And I was like, yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll, we'll put that back in there. And then who decides to come out? Let me get that away from the sun. Let's put it down there for now. Um, and then who comes out? The Three of Swords. All right. Well, since you insist, I guess we'll pay attention to you. Who is reaching out? This person is sad. They're in their feels. They're, um, yeah, that's why they're reaching out to you or that's why they're going to be messaging you. Why the Page of Cups? Who is this? How would my group, how would my group number twos know who this is? Who's going to be reaching out to them? Why the Nine of Pentacles? So this person, I, I, they're going to put in the effort. This person's going to spend some time. I kind of think that you, this is someone that I think you have a lot of fun with, or you could have a lot of fun with, but there's a, I don't know what happened between you guys because you're not having fun right now. This person's going to try to be real lighthearted. You guys, they're going to try to almost like dip their toes or be cool and casual. I will say they are putting in the effort. 
they're putting in the effort and they've realized that maybe they weren't in the past or you've made something very clear to them by pulling away your energy or not talking to them at all. Because this seems like it's totally one sided from their side, like they're the ones doing this. You're, you're, uh, yeah, you're, you're not, you're not the one that's, that's kind of putting in the effort. Yeah. They're going to be communicating with you. Um, they're going to be messaging you. How is my group number two is going to feel? How's my group number two is going to feel about this person reaching out? How do my group number twos feel? Like you're ready to move forward. Like you also want to feel better and whether that's feel better for yourself and you've moved on and you're moving forward or you want to patch things up with this person. It feels like you want to patch things up with this person and it feels like it's going to be sudden and unexpected. We have heavy Scorpio energy. So this could be uh, maybe something happened now and it's going to go through Scorpio or there's been like a couple of months or maybe a couple. I don't know. For some, it is Leo through Scorpio phase. So if this is someone that you're currently disconnected with, things are going to be getting better or you're going to start to feel better. Now, I know Scorpio seems far away, but we're already half, almost half, more than halfway or halfway. Yeah, it's going to, by the time this post is going to be more than halfway through August, we have September and October. Um, Scorpio season is in October. So um, depending on what this is, you know. It could be happening around then. Tell me why the Two of Cups or someone's a Scorpio. Why the Two of Cups in reverse with the Three of Swords? What happened here? You guys had some kind of fight or some kind of conflict or tension over someone couldn't um, make the time or work got in the way or other people were in the mix, other responsibilities. Someone here is ready to kind of patch things up. Tell me about the Page of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Who is this? Who's going to be reaching out to my group number twos? They're nervous that you're mad at them. <laughs> they're trying to be sweet and they're trying to like gain the confidence. And they're like, man, I know I have to, I, I like, I want to make it up or I, I want to, I want group two to know that I'm sorry or that I want to reconnect. Why the, oh yeah, no, they, they know. This person is making a judgment call. This person's thought about this a lot and they've been waiting for an opportunity. This It's weighing heavy on them. Like I feel like now and like through Virgo season, this definitely feels like it's, uh, this feels like it's predictive. Group one felt like it could be at any moment and this feels a little predictive. This feels like, of course, you're going to have other people reach out to you in between this happening and, you know, uh, or hearing from them and your life is going to happen. But this feels very specific to some of you. Um, this is something that happened between you and this person, and it feels like it's going to be patched up or that's why they're reaching out. It may have taken them a while, but this person is like intimidated or they don't know how to approach you or they figure you must be frustrated with them. I feel like they think you're upset. Yeah, they want the Ace of Wands. One more. Yeah, they're already planning it. This person wants an opportunity. They want to take a load off Ten of Wands in reverse with that Ace of Wands. Um, and Ten of Cups. This person wants to definitely come towards you, have some fun with you, be spontaneous. They're going to be popping in. Maybe they're going to ask you out. Maybe this is someone that's going to ask you out. But it feels like with that Three of Swords and the Two of Cups in reverse and that Five of Wands, there's been some kind of drama between you guys. All right, let's see. Um, let's see why they're reaching out. Let's see what we need to know about that. We. I love inserting myself. <laughs> it's like being a tarot reader is the perfect thing to soothe my inner chismosa. All right, my group number twos. Why is this person reaching out? What do my group twos need to know? <laughs> Messages for my group number twos, please. Why is this person reaching out? 
But what do my group twos need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Why is this person reaching out? What do my group twos need to know? Why is this person reaching out? What do my group number twos need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Why is this person reaching out? What do they need to know? What do my group twos need to know? Oh, they want to make something clear to you. This person's like reaching, they're reaching out for you or reaching out for you or <laughs> reach out for you. They're reaching out to you because it seems like they want a new beginning. They want to patch things up. They want to fix it. Something's been made clear to them or there's some kind of illusion here that was shattered. This is someone who was immature. You may have viewed them as that, or they didn't act right. They hesitated. Lots of fiery energy. So they seem like excited. Like they're like, I'm going to do something about this. Yeah, there's something that they're realizing. Uh, maybe they saw something online, or it's the fact that you guys aren't really talking. So this person's been very, um, they've, I'm telling you, they've thought about this a lot and they've kind of been overthinking this and they have things in the past that they're like, oh, why did I do that? Or why'd that happen? Or, or what was that? It's, there's a lot of overthinking. Why the Ace of Cups? Why are they? So it's like when they initially reach out, they're not going to be super like upfront, of course, over the fact that they've been bothered by this or what they want. It's like, they're going to approach you very fun, very lighthearted, very, very, very chill, cool, calm and collected. Almost like, I, I think I said it already kind of like dipping their toe to see if, if it's a possibility, if you'll respond or if you're open to talking to them. Why the page of wands in reverse? Why the knight of wands? And why the magician? Yeah, this person, they're like, I'm going to go for it. Literally, it's almost the energy of fuck it. I'm going to go for it. And if I fail, I fail. If not, then it happened. This person feels like they have to do something. They have to do something to get things to move forward or to have some kind of progress here. And they're willing to risk being rejected or failing. They're willing to risk it because they rather just know. So they're, they're taking control and they feel it's like they want this. They want to talk to you and this is what they're going to do. Interesting. Well, all right then. They're hoping that you'll accept their little cup, their little offer. I just saw page of cups, <laughs> page of cups, queen of cups. So this person's hoping that you're going to take, understand accept their apology or understand where they're coming from or they know you're sweet and all kinds of stuff. Well, all right then. Yeah, this person's going to put in the effort. They're going to do something, but that's because they want to better the chances of their outcome, which their outcome is you guys are all good. You guys can start a new phase. You can, uh, you know, connect. If this is a brand new person, maybe you were in a relationship and they knew that. I don't know. That three of swords, it just seems like something happened between you guys. Messages for my group number twos, please. Thank you, spirit. We have sweetness, intuition, and fear. So their fear has been holding their, them back. Maybe their fear held them back in the past. We have intuition. You already know this. And we have that sweetness. Oh, my... <clears throat> my um. As we're talking about emotion, they're like, no, no, don't go there. Uh, I don't think that group two is sweet. Well, guess what they do? Um, yeah, I don't think this person like is out outwardly like warm and fuzzy. Um, maybe they are, but I know that that's what draws them to you. And there's a lot of fear here that gets triggered. Uh, maybe that's what's been holding them back. Maybe that's why you stopped talking to them. I don't know. My group number twos, we're using our answer cards today. So you guys can think of questions as I'm shuffling these. We're going to do two cards today. Um, the question can be anything. We're going to see if we can try to get you an answer. You'll know it's an answer because you'll, you'll know it. You'll feel it. If not, just take it as more messages for your reading. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number twos, please. Can we get answers to their questions? Two cards, please. Two. Thank you, Spirit. 
All right, the first one says a block exists. And the second one says realign and call it in. All right, so there's an adjustment that needs to be made. Maybe this is on your side or their side. Things haven't been flowing the best. It's time to realign. All right, we have hot. You might think this person is hot or they think you're hot or maybe it's just hot outside. <laughs> no, I'm sweating. All right, we have QR, not the QR code. Maybe this person is checking out if you have a QR code. <gasps> oh, shit. Someone's keeping track of someone else's. Okay, this is not for everyone, but someone is looking at your Venmo or at somewhere where they can see social interaction with other people and someone might be trying to make sense of something. Super random, that is not for everyone. Um, if you know that's not for you, that's not for you. But if you know that that you know a person that be playing, playing like that. Um, all right, we have GOT. Maybe someone's watching Game of Thrones, House of Dragon. We have Rot, <laughs> R-O-T. We have Tot. We have HR again. We have Oregon. We have Oro, Gold. Hoot. Something about owls or someone's a hoot. Someone's funny. We have B E R bear, Barry, Berg, something Berg. Last names that are Berg. I feel like there's a lot of Bergs, right? Um, and then we have H tooth, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> tooth. Almost. Dentist. Someone could be a dentist. There's the tooth. Go. Someone could uh, be into art. Museum. O. TV. Her. He. All right. My group number two is that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you the next one. Thanks, guys. Hello, my group number threes. <laughs> if you picked the sticker, then welcome to your reading, friends. Today, we're going to be looking into incoming messages. Who is going to be reaching out? We are going to be asking who this is and why. What is it that you need to know? My group number threes, please keep in mind it's a collective reading on YouTube. So please only take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. If something is triggering you or if it's just baffling, you know, if the math ain't math in friends. It just means that it's probably not your story. I know it's boring when that happens. We like to find things to listen to, but you know, sometimes the vibe isn't, isn't for you and that's okay. All right. My group number threes, let's get to it. Let's see who's going to be reaching out to you. Thank you, spirit messages for my group number threes, please. Who is going to be reaching out to my group number threes? Who's reaching out to my group number threes? How would they know who this is? Thank you, spirit messages for my group number threes, please. Who's reaching out to them? How will they know who this is? What can we know? What can you tell us? Thank you for it. Messages for my group number threes, please. Messages for my group number threes. Who's reaching out to them? Who is this? What can we know? What can you tell us? Who's reaching out? How will my group number threes know who this is? Messages for my group number threes, please. Who's reaching out? Who's going to be reaching out to them? Thank you, Spirit. Okay. We have the lovers. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Who's reaching out to them? Messages for my group number three. Was that a 10? It was. We're going to take that. Uh, okay. So this is someone who work and family is either getting in the way from has been an issue here. Or this is someone who went through a divorce or is going through some kind of big breakup or something in their family that they invested into for a long time. Maybe for some of you, this is even someone you were married to. I can't tell. I, I don't know if that's something they're going through or that you guys went through together, but we'll see. Thank you, Spirit. Messages for my group number threes. Who's reaching out to them? Who is this? And how would my group number threes know who this is? This is someone that things have been back and forth with. You've had ups and downs with them or they've been in and out. This is someone that things aren't currently stable with. Even if you guys 
even if you guys do have this deep connection, even if, you know, you guys do make each other happy, there's this feeling here of it's not stable or it hasn't been. Um, it's too like back and forth or up and down. Why the lovers, please? Messages from my group number threes. Who is this? Who's reaching out to them? Why the ten? Why the three of swords? Messages from my group number threes. Who's reaching out to them? Okay, so this is someone that you haven't talked to in a while, and there's pain here associated with that. This is someone, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't seem like both of you can give very much to each other. Uh, you guys both kind of come from either similar backgrounds or you have similar things going on right now where maybe you're both very busy. Um, this is also kind of part of the reason, though, why you and this person have this bond is because there is like deeper understanding of things and of situations or family dynamics or things we've been through. It's like I can relate. Maybe it's even uh, being able to relate to family troubles, whatever it is, though, I feel like things are kind of mutual to that degree. Um, this is someone that they haven't been able to offer you consistency or anything for the long term. It's It's been short term with them. Again, it doesn't seem like they can give freely right now. Uh, this is, it feels like there's a lot that's being influenced by either our home, our relationships, not with each other, perhaps like other, other people or, you know, family or careers affecting this or something that's affecting this. Now, obviously, if this is for those of you that this is someone you were married to and you have kids with, you share a family with, then, you know, that take that as it applies. But um, so someone here has been feeling undecided with that two of swords. Tell me about the 10 of cups, please. Who is this? Who's reaching out to my group number threes? Why the two? And why the four of wands in reverse? Okay, so this is just for those of you that are, this is your ex. It's like they might be using the kids or they get kind of weird if they don't hear from you for a while and then they get kind of triggered and then they that prompts them to come back in. That's just for those of you that are divorced from this person and this is your ex. It's like they're doing that thing again or they're going to. They're going to reach out and be like, hey, let's catch up. What's been going on with you? It's like they're going to try to be friendly, but it feels like it's because they're missing you and they still feel this big pull and draw to you. They feel like you understand them like no one else does. Now, outside of that scenario, because that's not that's minority, that's only a few of you. But what I'm picking up more strongly is someone that's still affected by those dynamics, possibly, but not with you. This is someone who, like I said, there's been disappointment over the fact that you guys haven't seen each other in a long time or things have been very quiet. This person, they have a hard time kind of making decisions from the heart. And that's kind of what's been stopping them where they're like, why do I feel this way? Why am I drawn to group three? Why? Why does it feel like this? It's like, you know, they're kind of like in limbo and they've been undecided as to what they want. Now, this could also be that they're not sure if they they want this, whatever this is with you, or if they want to focus on their their career, their home. It's it's you know, this person's kind of trying to figure out why they're so feeling this three of swords. So it's almost like it's almost giving the feeling of someone that maybe has a hard time. Um, like I said, and maybe they're more logical. They're not used to making like decisions based off of their feelings and they're trying to figure out how they feel. So if this is someone uh, that, like I said, maybe you've been keeping distant or you guys haven't seen each other, they're definitely feeling it and they're wanting to reconnect with you. Who is this, please? Who's going to be reaching out to my group number threes? Why the lovers with the two of swords? They have a hard time remaining optimistic because their ego was wounded here with you or their ego's been wounded or something happened during Leo season. And they've been unsure as to whether or not what to do. They, they, they don't know what to do. They've been stuck. It's almost like, you know, when uh, a possum just, when they get scared, they just freeze and they're like, I'm just going to play dead. 
and you're like, I can literally still see you. And they're like, I'm just done. I, I don't know what to do. It's like, that's literally what it is. Almost like deer in headlights. Tell me about the 10 of pentacles in reverse with the six of pentacles. Who's, who's, uh, who's reaching out to my group number three. One more. Yeah. This person works a lot. Yeah, this person works a lot. This person has like a lot of fears or they keep a lot of things to themselves. They keep their desires and their wishes to themselves and they put other things before that. Their work, their family, their priorities, their children, if they have them or this or that. Now, this does not apply to those of you that this is your ex that you divorced from. This, yeah, no, this, this isn't for those of you. For those of you, this is this person still being like, I, I am the, I'm the provider. I'm, you know, if it's the father of your children, I'm the dad, or I'm the, I'm the one in charge. Um, even though they're not. Now back to the other storyline, for those of you that this is not someone that you've been with or been married to, this is someone that you have a deep connection with, then, um, like I said, things are kind of. This person's like very fearful. Tell me about the Ten of Cups with the Justice in Reverse. Yeah, no, for a lot of you, there's children involved here. If it's not that, this person, they want you to take them serious when they come towards you and like make you an offer or make things better. It feels like something here, it's hard to write it. This is someone who maybe is like if they were married is like someone else or with someone else it's like that's also part of the influence into whatever is going on between you guys tell me about the two of pentacles and the page of pentacles so i feel like you've tried to make things work with this person you've been you know you've been open with them or you've been understanding but still they bring this inconsistency to the function that's the vibes they bring to the function, or at least in the past. You guys get along great with this person. You work well with them, but they just, they seem avoidant or they feel like they haven't been able to get it together. And I think you love them. You love them for who they are. You understand them, but it doesn't mean that you necessarily want to subject yourself to deal with that from them. Tell me about the four. Yeah, it, it's just, it's hard to connect with this person. You're going to be hearing from them, but they're closed off or they're still defensive or triggered. And this person has a hard time staying away from you. All right, let's continue. Let's see why. We know they're a little tortured soul for you. They're all hurt. Um, maybe they're, yeah, maybe there's a third party um that is affecting things all right thank you spirit why is this person reaching out to my group number three why is this person reaching out what do they need to know why is this person reaching out and what do they need to know thank you spirit. messages from my group number threes please why are they reaching out to my group number threes and what do my group number threes need to know thank you spirit messages from my group number threes they're reaching out because they haven't heard from you or seen you or there's been a long pause or break. Messages for my group number threes. Why is this person reaching out? Why are they reaching out? What do they need to know? They want to be truthful about something. They want to heal things with you. It's like they know what they want. They just don't know how to get there. They know what they want, but their ego doesn't let them kind of fully take off the mask yet. But this is why they're reaching out with the intention of doing that. This person is very fearful of their emotions. They fear, um, oh, I just heard being mocked. Interesting. So they must have a, a something happened to this person. Like who, who loved them the wrong way, you know, or who did that to them um, is what it feels like. This person stays very closed off or it's hard for them. But essentially, it's almost like they're letting their heart lead. We have Pisces, Aries, Aquarius energy coming through. I mean, all water signs with that King of Cups, but that moon card. 
is dominating. Why the seven of swords? Why is this person reaching out? What do they need to know? What are my group? They've realized something. So they know that they got to be truthful with you or they got to be real. They're ready to let go. Interesting. This person wants to, okay, not them letting loose. It's like they miss you. This person feels deeply connected with you or to you. And they fear being left out of your life. And they realize that they want a new beginning. So that's why this person's been thinking a lot. They've been introspecting. Is that a right word? Introspecting. It is now, bitch. You guys know what I mean. They've been thinking about some shit. They've been looking at their little lantern in the dark and realizing, am I the problem? <laughs> Newsflash, you probably were. <laughs> Yeah, you are the problem. It's how you view love. It's also promising shit you can't deliver on this person. Yep. This person's telling themselves that they got to do better. Okay, so listen, this person, they're not coming back completely new, but they are coming back with realizations and very strong feelings towards you. Very strong. Uh, for some, this is soulmate. For others of you, it's definitely past life connection. Uh, for others of you, it's because you literally made a life together. Like if you've done that with someone, it's an intense thing, right? It, it, uh, it, it's interesting, the feelings that come up because of that. So for some of you, that's what it is, is that this person just wants to get things on a good, in a good place with you, but they want to be a part of your life. This person fears being left out. They really do. And I don't think they would ever tell you that. I mean, unless, you know, you get them all warm and cuddly and soft and squishy and it's pillow talk and they're just saying the things that they need to be saying. Um, but yeah, this person is full of fears and, and, and they suppress this and they're lonely and they feel like you see them. This person is very um, set on wanting to start new. Can we, can we just start over? This person's going to be vulnerable with you. What else? Why are they reaching out? Thank you, spirit that wanted to be upright we'll take it you may have been waiting you're like too too uh, too late or yeah i've been knowing this and for others of you you're like okay fucking finally finally you're coming correct all right so this person they've acknowledged that you guys have been through some shit or they've been through some shit or there's been wounding here but they feel like the time has come where now now i can give you what you deserve and what you need in the meantime, they're five of pentacles over you. They miss you. They think back. They, yeah, they think back on you. They smile at memories, certain memories of you, and other ones are too painful to tap into for them. Okay. Okay, Romeo. <laughs> okay. Not in my head when I said Romeo, I got a mental image of Christian Bale as American Psycho. And I was like, did they go from American Psycho to Romeo? <laughs> just kidding that's a big jump but maybe it's a big jump for them all right let's get some oracle cards for you guys thank you spirit messages for my group number threes wow magic illumination protection and passion so this person has a lot of passion uh, maybe that this is you being protected or protecting yourself by keeping space or if you had to take time away from this person it's like the universe was protecting you. I feel like the energy between you guys, even if you haven't seen each other in a long time, that hasn't faded. It's like the type of person that when you see them, you guys just kind of pick up where you left off. Um, illumination, things are coming to light and magic. Some of you guys could have manifested this or this person has been trying to manifest this. This also tells me that this person is very resourceful. Definitely the if they wanted to, they would type of energy. And I think they're about to want to. And I think they are about to would or do. <laughs> group number three is we're using our answer cards today feel free to pause the reading um, if you want to think about questions that you want to ask the cards we're going to do two you'll know it's an answer because you'll feel it you'll recognize it if not just take it as more messages for your reading thank you spirit messages for my group number threes please answers to their questions two cards please one and two the first one is your magic is potent, bitch. All that candle work, all the meditation, all the visualizations, all of the things you've been thinking of, it's about to manifest. 
Then we have not yet, but it's coming. You want clarity. You want to know a certain thing. You won't know yet, but just know it's on its way to you. It's coming. Oh my gosh. Why did I get excited? <laughs> oh, poor thing. You guys, I talk to you guys all day long here. Of course, I'm going to find my thrills through your stories. That was a T that flew out. Not me living vicariously through you guys. Listen. Okay. So we have VT makes me think of vote or uh, VTY. Thank you. Vermont. Honey. New York. FF. This always makes me think of firefighter. New York fire department. Where are they at? VP. <laughs> BM. Someone might have a baby mama. Someone is the baby mama. Someone could be the BP, the baby papi. <laughs> I don't know. TP, FY5, Finn, Finn, Vermont, huh? All right. Not the Buckingham coming through. I don't know. Maybe someone's over there. Listen. My group number three, that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonated. Please take care of yourselves and I'll catch you at the next one. Thanks, guys.